Hi and welcome to Fry Facts by Shiksha and this is Bhagishree here. In today's video, we will try to get answers about MBA entrance exams. So the first question that I have is, which are the must fill entrance exams? There are few exams that everyone should fill if they are opting for MBA. First one is CAT. The second one is ZAT. Then you have SNAP. Uh, then IAFT in Delhi. Then CMAT. And most importantly, TISNET, if you're opting for HR. So moving on to the next question. What strategy a student should use while opting for entrance exams? What to choose and what to leave? So it depends on the student. So first of all, there are exams based on specialization, right? So if you want to do your MBA in HR, right? So there are uh, tests like TISNET and ZAT, right? So which is basically for HR specialization. And there are few students who want to remain in their state and then they want to pursue MBA in the state government uh, colleges, right? So you have uh, many uh, government colleges and many state, they have their own state exam like MH set for Maharashtra, AP set for Andhra Pradesh. And if you want to uh, like uh, go for marketing, right? So apart from IAMs, you have SPA, JM, right? Then you have SNAP. So basis on the specialization, basis on their interest, and basis on like if they want to stay in their own state or they want to go out of their state, uh, they can categorize and apply for various exams. The next question is, apart from CAT, which are the top tier entrance exams? So apart from CAT, uh, you have ZAT, right? Then you have uh, from uh, from which you can go to XLRI Jamshedpur, right? Then you have TISNET, uh, then you have uh, MDI Gurgaon. So they also take the separate exam, right? Apart from CAT. Then uh, for IMT Ghaziabad, so they have three campuses, IMT Ghaziabad, IMT Nagpur, right? And then you can also opt for CMAT. CMAT consists of all the AICT approved colleges. The next most commonly received question is, students who are not aiming for CAT, which exam they should prepare for and how? So if they're not aiming for CAT, uh, they can either go for MAT, which is Management Aptitude Test conducted by IMA, All India Management Association, or they can also go for CMAT. And apart from CMAT and MAT, they because these uh, paper, these entrance exams are general for all the MBA colleges apart from the top year colleges, right? And apart from that, they can go for uh, TISNET, ZAT, uh, then uh, SPJMR also conduct their own test apart from taking through CAT. And then many uh, state exams, state MBA exam like MS set, AP set, TN set, and et cetera. There are many other exams also. So another very frequently asked question is, can a student get MBA admissions without any entrance? If so, how? So basically, all the colleges, it's a mandate uh, from AICT and UGC that you need to clear the entrance exam, any entrance exam. So if they're college, if they're taking, uh, if they are uh, giving the MBA course, right? So you need to give some sort of exam like MAT or CMAT. And apart from that, uh, like if you clear the exam, you'll be going for GDPI or the uh, VAT, which is written ability test. And then the final merit score is published and you get selected. So it's a mandate from AICT that every college need to take uh, at least an entrance exam score plus the GDPR. Coming to the next question, what are the pros and cons of taking direct MBA admissions? So direct MBA admission here, you mean uh, apart from CAT, right? So the pros are, uh, see for CAT you need a good preparation right because you need you see that the cutoffs are very high so if you need to prepare for CAT you need at least six to eight months compressive study right but if a person wants to directly go for an admission test a simple admission test and just want to uh, go in a examination with GDPI then he will he or she will save that six to eight months and will directly go into the uh, MBA college right so here the one thing would be that compensation he, he or she would be getting would be a bit low because you know he or she would not be getting to that top tier colleges right but yeah uh, uh, like without preparation or without uh, any much time he may he or she may clear any exam and then he she may uh, join any good uh, mba college right so the pros would be that he will she will save time the cons would be the compensation would not be that high which is provided by the top tier colleges so what are the expected CAT cutoffs for IMs and non-IMs like the top MBA colleges? So the expected cutoff depends on different factors, right? So one of the factors is the difficulty of the question paper, difficulty of the question paper conducted by uh, the CAT, right? Then the number of 
test taken takers basically how many people how many students have applied for that particular exam then the seat availability because as per as uh, every year new IMs are coming baby IMs which we used to call right so the seats are getting increased then the ranking of the colleges <clears throat> based on the ranking also uh, he or she may get any uh, into college right and also uh, what we have seen the past cut off trend of those colleges those colleges also matter so these are five to six uh, basically the factors on which the cat cut off depends so if you see in the category wise so basically the general category rank cutoff falls between uh, for the top tier colleges I'm telling for the IMs and all between 98 to 100 right and then for the other categories you may reduce 2 to 3 percent and basis on that uh, you may get into the IMs or the non-IMs colleges or the other top three colleges. If you enjoyed this video please give a thumbs up and do not forget to share it with your friends and colleagues also do not miss out on any future content do hit the subscribe button. Thank you.